Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm just gonna be doing a really simple, I love it, This it's like a summery, springy set, um, using this acrylic. If you just saw, I just rolled the bead onto the nail. I made this, mixed it, sorry, I didn't make it. I mixed it using some Nail Nails colors. I wanted like a corally, peachy color, and I had an orange from Nail, which I, I, I don't really use dark, or like bright oranges, I don't really use. So at the time, I thought, I know, I'm going to mix it with some white to dull it down and a little bit of clear. But I mixed it with a lot of white and as you can see, it marbles so badly. So I find that if I roll it onto the nail and just work it in, it sort of mixes it all together. Trouble is, it ends up a little bit patchy. So you have to make sure that you go back and just fill in any patchy bits. Also, the brush I'm using is a size 14 Alpha oval brush oval alpha brush and I, it is a little bit too big for me because i keep making a right mess around the cuticle area and i keep getting the acrylic on the skin so i think i need to trouble is at the moment it's my only half decent brush that i've got i'll have to i'll have to find i think i've got a size 10 which is probably going to be much better for me <sighs> hopefully i won't make up such a mess um what else were they going to say? Yeah, I absolutely love this colour on Gloria. She looks amazing. Gloria is my flexi hand. She is in colour S309. She, oh, I love her so much. Um, I will go back to... I haven't named my other hand. But she's S0... No, S306. So she's a lot paler than Gloria. Um, but I'm going to just clean that up. Oh, I'm so messy. I'm going to continue this colour all the way across the nails. Just making sure. You see, you sort of have to work at it. Mix it a bit. And then it sort of blends in quite nicely. It is a little bit of a headache though, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so I still need to name my other hand. Um, this is, I can't remember what these dots are called, but these amazing beautiful dots are from nail sugar i'll put the name at the bottom of the screen also if you want to place an order with nail sugar use code natmug10 all in caps and you can save yourself 10 percent on your entire order bargain um so i'm just going to put some of the dots at the cuticle area and blend them up or sort of fade that what was that fade them up i don't want them to cover the whole nail i just thought these were kind of I don't know, they're just fun and summery. It's so nice again here today, and the wind isn't as blowy, so it's not quite as cold as it was yesterday. I've even got my flip flops back on. <laughs> so again, I'm just going to continue this across the whole set, and then I'm going to cap them in clear acrylic. So I just, here we go, look, I just got to the thumb. Well, that went, that went there pretty abruptly, didn't it? <laughs> So here we go, this is what they look like before they're capped. This is them capped, filed and buffed. And I realised that, look, the, what's that one? The ring finger is a lot longer than the other fingernails. So I'm just going to cut this one down a bit. Done. See, now they're the same length. It looks a bit funny though, so I'm just going to file. I'm going to take my hand file and just file the free edge a little bit. I got fussy, I did, I got fussy. Sorry, Gloria, I'm bending your finger a bit. <laughs> there we go, so I am happy with that now. And I'm going to use Premier Gel's High Shine Non-Wipe Top Coat to top coat these nails. Oh, isn't that just so pretty? I love that colour. It reminds me a little bit of Cheek to Cheek from Madame Glam, the gel polish. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to top coat all the nails. I think I just said that. Am I just repeating myself? <laughs> Echo. Uh, I cure these in the lamp for 30 seconds. I use a Melody Susie 48 watt LED lamp. I think someone asked me the other day. Um, so this, this, that's what I use. I just, I just like to tap the edge so that it's nice and straight. And then I will pop that in the lamp. This is what they look like. 
and this is the close-up i hope you like these if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos in the future i am going to be doing five videos a week again as of now yay um, so i will see you lovely lot tomorrow